We are back now at 845 this morning in today's Holiday Kitchen. Cool peppermint desserts. Candy canes are everywhere during the holidays. Why not put them to use for a creative, festive dessert? Sandra Lee is here with great recipes. Her new magazine, Sandra Lee Christmas, and her latest cookbook is called Semi-Homemade, the Complete Cookbook. It's great to have you here. Happy it's holidays. Nice to see you. Peppermint screams holidays. This is good. Do you do a lot of cooking over the holidays? I do a lot of cooking over the holidays. Uh, not so much this year. We have a big New Year's coming up, so we won't be, but usually yes. All right, cool. So what are we starting with? Well, I always like to do something, whether I'm entertaining or it's just for the kids at home, that's kind of a fantasy dessert. So what we have are peppermint bonbon pops. This is what they're going to look like when we're finished with them. Yes. Let's figure out how we get there. You've got the first three ingredients already in this pan. In this pot is going to be a bag of white chocolate chips, so it's semi-homemade. What do you have in your pantry right. that you can use in a smart way? A third of a cup of butter, a quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Don't whip <laughs> okay. it. Just put it in there. Okay. Melt the chocolate chips. Get the chips. paddles ready. Clear. <laughs> on low. Uh, it's candy. It's Christmas. Okay. We'll fast in January. Uh, melt them on low for about five minutes. Low heat. A okay. nice, soft, slow That's the melt. consistency you're looking for? This a nice is, kind of creamy consistency? Yeah, that's very shiny. Now is the fun part. You are going to put in a cup of powdered sugar. All of it at once? All of it at once. Okay. And then uh, that whisk, you okay. are going to go to town. Okay. You need to mix that all together. Okay. One teaspoon of peppermint extract goes in so there. So you don't want to overpower people with the peppermint taste. You just want a nice hint of the flavor. Exactly. Okay. You got to get in there and work it. Okay. I know Good. you're in a nice suit. All but right, you that's get all right. In there. So let's say I did that already, <laughs> and it would end up looking like this. Okay. You've okay. added little chips here. You is that what it is? You want to put your chocolate chips after that's peppermint all chips. Mixed peppermint chips. Okay. Right. This is uh, this becomes kind of like mud here. Oh, it becomes a. It's a candy. Yeah. That okay. Candy pops. Okay. This once you're done, you put it in a bowl in the fridge for two hours. Then what you're going to do is take your pops and a melon baller just like this. You're going to roll them in your hand. Easy to work with once they've on been it. chilled. Yes. Okay. And then you're going to set those aside. Into your oven goes peppermint. Just peppermint. I had candies. no idea those things would melt like this. Three fifty for three minutes. That's all. Okay. And all you do is put this on top of here. Put that on your plate and you're ready to go. Those are great. Okay, now, they look good. Now we're going to make a peppermint pie. This one's got a bunch of different layers. Yes. And you like the pudding flavor, the cheesecake flavor, everything in this. Everything that your family loves will be in here. So I've got two different kinds of pudding. You make it the regular way. I've got white chocolate pudding and I've got um, cheesecake pudding. Okay. Okay, the flavor. Semi-homemade. You can buy a crust. You can buy a Come crust, on. but if you want to make it the money-saving meals way, because okay. I have two shows on the Food Network. <laughs> um, Who can keep up? <laughs> um, it's just some graham crackers, sugar, and melted butter. Okay. Pat down your sides. Now you're going to put in layers of the white chocolate pudding and the, of course, cheesecake pudding. On top of here goes whipped topping. Another teaspoon of... Your extract goes in here to pump up the flavor. You want to stir that? Okay. Put so how many there. layers? Just two layers? Just two layers. Okay. One on top of another. That's what you have here. Put that together. Do you have to chill that first? You Well, you don't have to chill it. You want to chill it after you put this on. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and just place that on here. You want to grab the peppermints because that's going to be our topper. And okay. then just have a good time creating billows. Of you don't want to be neat. You actually want to make it look kind of uh, exotic, right? Kind of festive and fun. Use there your you fingers go. like that all the time? I love this stuff. This is great. Okay, how many did I sprinkle these on? Is mm -hmm. that it? Look how pretty. You just made pie. That's fantastic. Okay, good. Good okay, job. Okay, one we'll, more. All right. This is, well, actually two more. I've got a punch here, a mocktail punch. Careful, I have a And knife. that is my Christmas cake, white right. cake. But instead of water, just use eggnog. This is fantastic. I'm going to taste this. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Great to have you. Nice having you here.